Eighth round of 64, this is Mizan Ekol of Turkey making his way to the red corner. And he'll be up against Roland Verres. Of Hungary. Ekol of Turkey, Verres of Hungary. Boxing out of Budapest. Former kickboxing world champion. Interesting to see if that reflects in his style. Kickboxers are usually quite upright in their stance. Has won a couple of titles this year. The Akos Toth Memorial Tournament. That was in Hungary. And also the Maribor Cup in Slovenia. Bouncing up and down on the balls of his feet there, Varas just shaking out the neck. Same thing in the opposite corner. Tom is on a cold. Little shake out of the boots. Always nervous times these, the final few seconds before the bell goes. This is new for them. They've not been on this kind of stage before. Varas has got that, that big time experience in, in kickboxing. Began boxing in 2017, so not long ago. Yasutaka Sasaki of Japan, the referee. Ring A, round three. A Cole in red, just being pushed back to the red corner there. He keeps creeping forward. These two itching to get underway. Not quite sure what the delay is here. And we're missing a judge on one side of the ring. On the near side of the ring here, we are missing a judge. We've got four out of five, but we need a full complement of five. So these two will just have to just try and relax and maybe not switch off exactly, but... not burn any nervous energy certainly between now and the start of the fight because this will take a couple of minutes yet I would say it's on my side of the ring on the near side of the ring as I look at it that's the empty table on the bottom left hand side bottom left hand corner of your screen there you just saw it briefly there's two judges over on the far side one on the right hand side of the ring as I look at it one on the left hand side and there needs to be one on this near side too As I said with Verez, that, that kickboxing background, and as I mentioned, kickboxers, when they convert to boxing or box in conjunction with their kickboxing career, which, which can often happen, a lot of the time they do stand up quite straight and quite upright. And our fifth and final judge is just sliding into his seat now, so we're just about to get underway. So here we go, there goes the bell. Akol of Turkey in the red, in the orthodox stance. In the southpaw stance there is Veres of Hungary. Veres with a, a height advantage here out of the two. Stylistically, they look quite similar in the way they set up at least anyway. Gloves high, lead hand just on the move in front of their opponent. Just looking to distract, try and set up that right hand maybe. Left hand there from Varez, stepped into that one. <laughs> Left hand to the body from Varez, scoring shot.
switching southpaw there, A. Cole, briefly. Looking for the right to the body there, the Turkish fighter. Gump Shield has come out there, and it's his, it's A. Cole's. A minute 41 left in the round. These two just kind of feeling each other out at the moment. Not a lot has landed. What has landed has mostly come from Verez down to the body. A couple of straight left hands up top. No great power on anything. just telling Veres to, to keep his head up there as A. Cole was trying to close in on the ropes. Looking for that jab to the body again there, Veres. Followed by a big overhand right. Right hand came back to the body there from A. Cole. He looks for the overhand right that time and I think he felt that he landed that one quite solidly because he then pursued Veres in slightly ungainly fashion. Uh, shoelace has come undone there. So yet to get going this fight, really. We had the delay for the gum shield, now the delay for the shoelace. These two, in terms of their styles, haven't really gelled yet. Not a great deal has happened in this first round. to climb into some hooks there, A. Cole, but he was picked off by a couple of nice lead right hands from Veres. He throws that left and then just piles in behind it, ends up on the shoulder of A. Cole. round one done and it was Verez who we found the target more than a call in that opening round there was there was no damage done there were quite light punches mainly to the body with that left hand and the odd jab upstairs as well a bit of body work there from a call he showed more aggression but just gets a little bit tight when he looks to let his hands go. Perez is a lot looser, a lot more relaxed. Ten nines across the board there for Perez. So into the second, Varos picking up all five cards at the end of the first. He's not a typical kickboxer converted to boxer at all, actually, Varos. It's not always the case, but they can tend to be quite basic. Don't really use their feet all that much. Stand up straight, strong, and, and look to punch hard. He doesn't do any of those things, really. He does stand up quite straight, but not quite in, in the way that I was expecting, really, if that makes sense. There's that little dabbing jab again. Doesn't really look to put much on, on his punches at all. Accuracy is the currency he's looking to trade in.
Left hand came through there and he immediately just dabbed at his nose. Mizan Akol, half expected to see some blood coming out at the end of it, and maybe there is, I'm not quite sure, because the reaction was, was quite strange there in a, in a way. Jab there again from Perez. Just snakes its way through the middle. Nice right hand there from Acol. Got into distance, set his feet. And just popped that one down the middle. Another right from the Turkish fighter. Having his successes towards the end of the second round here. He needs this second round too, having dropped that first one across the board. Fairly similar to the first round there, really. Acol, as I said, he landed a couple towards the end of the round there, but prior to that, it was Veres who was ghosting around the ring. Every now and again, just sliding in with a with a lead right hand, the odd backhand, and he's taken it for four out of the five judges there. So Veres, two rounds to nil up with four judges. The other one, the Argentinian judge, has got it level. So Acol, of course, now needs something big in this final round. There was that right. That's the best right hand that he's thrown. So third and final round, Mizan Akol of Turkey in the red with it all to do, Roland Veres of Hungary in the blue, former world kickboxing champion, converted to boxing back in 2017, has done well since then, as I said, has had a good year, winning some titles, and this is first world championships, and unless Akol can really put the hammer down and do some damage to him in this final round. He's going to get a win in his first fight here. And progress to the round of 32 where he'll be in with Abdurakmon Yokobov of Tajikistan. just steps in there Raykol but when he really looks to put some heat on his punches you can just see him tighten up you can almost see the facial expression he grimaces grits his teeth and the punches just don't really flow that right hand he threw in the previous round the landed that was his best right hand basically because he wasn't really thinking about it he just stepped in and then almost as a reflex just let it go he shot through nice and straight and found the target but he just gets tight when he steps to his opponent. Nice jab there from Veres. A stylish kind of fighter. Quite suited to this three round format. Physically doesn't look the strongest. He hasn't had to really demonstrate that kind of capability in this fight because he's managed to 
just box the way that he's wanted to box. Acol hasn't been able to track him down, hasn't been able to really get on top of him or make him look uncomfortable, and that's that's Tavares's credit. But somebody else might be able to do that. It'll be interesting to see how he reacts in that kind of situation. 20 seconds to go. We've got three more for you in ring B tonight before we bring things to a close. Still all at lightweight, all at 60 kilos. Trinidad and Tobago up against Mongolia next, then Israel versus Finland, and then we finish with Haiti and Azerbaijan. 510 fighters from 88 countries have made it over to Belgrade. And there goes the bell, and that's going to be a win for Roland Verez. Perez gets it. We knew he would going into that final round and he managed to keep his opponent at bay comfortably throughout the course of the nine minutes, actually. He made it look quite easy. Always interesting when you see a fighter like that. Like I say, I'll be curious to see what happens when he progresses to the next round and maybe finds himself up against someone capable of, of cutting off the ring a little bit better and bringing the, the pressure a little bit more effectively but you beat whoever is in front of you and, and he's done that and he's done it with something to spare. 